All right, I have no idea where I am. This looks really eerie. What is this place? And what is going on here? This looks really intense. This is a game called Fract OSC, and welcome to What the Math. So, what exactly is Fract OSC? Well, Honestly, it's really hard to define, but here, let me just read the description from the website while I'm going back to the original location here. Fract is a musical exploration game. You arrive in a forgotten place and explore the vast and unfamiliar landscapes to discover the secrets of a world built on sound. You rebuild the machinery by solving puzzles and bring the world back to life by shaping sound and creating music in the game. So essentially, this is one of the best ways of learning more about music and specifically synthesizers. And the way it does this is absolutely brilliant. So there's this kind of like a sandbox-like environment that is absolutely incredibly designed and is absolutely beautiful. And every time you want to uh, unlock something new in the game, and specifically I'm talking about a synthesizer, which I'll show you uh, near the end of the video, you have to solve uh, puzzles. You actually have to go and find puzzles and solve them, which will unlock one of the things in the game, one of the synthesizer functions in the game. And essentially, this is not really a game at all. It's actually a very complex synthesizer, music synthesizer, that sort of teaches you how to use itself by making you play through these various puzzles. So I'm going to show you one of those puzzles I haven't done yet. And I've actually finished this game before. It's, uh, it doesn't take very long. It takes about maybe five hours maximum to finish. The puzzles are kind of challenging as well. But once you finish it, uh, and here, here comes the puzzle I haven't done yet. You can hear music playing here. Once you finish the game, you'll unlock all of the features of the synthesizer. Uh, I can't pronounce this word. Synthesizer. And essentially, this allows you to make your own music. And there's quite a large community of people uh, building or making music using this game. And there's quite a lot of really awesome um, samples you can already check out on YouTube. But this game is brilliant. This is probably one of the best ways I've seen anyone try to teach music to people. Now, not specifically music, like not notes or anything, but, you know, using synthesizers, which is, I think is pretty challenging. So here's a puzzle and look at how awesome it's designed. So here you have to click right button. And I think my job is to place square, uh, place these cubes into, into where? I forgot how this works. I think I have to take this, here we go. And then I have to place it around, move it around until I solve this this particular puzzle. So what do we do exactly? Let's find out. Oh, and I can only move them if I stand in a specific location right here or over there. So this allows me to move the yellow cube. So I have to move the yellow cube somewhere. Let's decide where to move it. Let's just move it here for now. Here we go. I have to place it inside the green box. And this, you can kind of hear that activating is something because the music suddenly changed. So the goal here is to create music out of nothing. When you start the game, you'll hear nothing but silence. Oh, that's what I had to do. I had to open up this passage first to get into the green thingamajig. And now from here, I can move another one of these squares somewhere else, another one of these cubes. Here we go, now it's working. This goes in here. Now I go back to the first cube and unlock this particular puzzle. I think this is going to unlock something once I move the cube back. Here we go. What did that do? They did something. So, we, when you hear music, I mean, something good is happening. And then I think I have to press this button. Here we go. So, that's an elevator that's going to take me up to my next puzzle that I have to solve. Uh, and this is essentially how the game works. And you're going to go, be going through these musical puzzles and learning a little bit about the gameplay and the synthesizer itself. And once you solve all of these puzzles, you'll get the fully featured synthesizers that can create some amazing music. You can use your own files, you can use your own um, uh, compositions, you can mix and match things. Uh, and I'll show you the actual layout of the synthesizer when I finish this particular level. But let me just find out. I know there's another puzzle here somewhere, I just have to find it. And I think it's right here. This is, I think, it's the puzzle where I have to do something else. I believe there's another, another thing I have to do by... Yes, there we go. So it opened up and this is telling, okay, this is a pretty easy one. I just have to do this, I think. Is that it? 
Uh, okay, I need to do one more. So I have to fill up. I think I have to make sure that this is completely filled. So let's uh, let's put a few more of these. Here we go. That is the solution. Did I do something? All right, so there's actually a second part to this puzzle where I have to solve another one of these things. And this time it's a little bit more challenging because it has two layers. And I don't know where I need... Is that it? Oh, here, almost. I almost have it. There we go. So this unlocked lead step sequencer. And that means I have a new... Oh, also lead modulation. And anything else? All right, so I have new two two new features inside my um, my my synthesizer, which I can now use to create new music um, by myself. So this is essentially the game, and the world in here is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the graphics are you know it's not the most beautiful game in the world, but it's just it's very very atmospheric. It's very mysterious. You don't really know what's going on in this game. Like for example, this is yet another puzzle that I completely forgot how to solve. I actually have to get a hint here before I can solve this. Uh, but this will also unlock another one of the. Um, uh, another one of the features that I can then use in the synthesizer. So let me just show you what the synthesizer is all about. All you have to do is actually, uh, you, you go right here, exit to studio, which is an actual studio there. And you find yourself back in this silent place. And so if you go upstairs and you go inside this little area. And so once you enter this room, what you'll see is a bunch of uh, panels. And essentially, this is a 3D synthesizer that is the center of this game. So here, for example, you can go in here and open files from your hard drive that uh, are either samples or uh, your previous compositions. You can also save your composition by clicking this. Um, you can, what is this, uh, reset your synthesizer, you can do a variety of different things. So some of these things will be locked if you haven't finished the game. But if you don't want to play the puzzle game, you can just press escape and go into studio and then choose, well, first of all, you can watch tutorials if you're not really sure how this works. You can, you know, there's a folder where you can open different recordings, and, but then you can also just unlock the studio completely. This will just unlock everything and you can start playing around and uh, making a variety of music. So here, what you can do is you go in here. I'm just going to unlock these as well. And uh, just like any other synthesizer, you essentially just put in uh, a bunch of notes. So here I'm going to just randomly, I don't really... I'm not going to put any effort in here, so I'm just going to put random notes, uh, and let's play it. Okay. Okay, that's not that's not bad. Let's put some more of this as well. All right, that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. That sounds a little bit better. If you don't like that, you can always change it. You can actually modulate almost everything here. So, for example, I can give it a little bit more tone. A little bit less grit. Make it echo. Actually, less, echo less. Decrease its volume. Add some shimmy. And accelerate. And let's do a little bit of this as well. Make it pinch a little less. Give it some shakes. And make it kick. And the complexity of this synthesizer is ridiculous. So it's actually, it's a fully fledged machine that create, can create some really, really cool music. So you have a variety of tones, variety of um, modulations, you have files that you can add from your computer. And essentially this is what it looks like and how it works. If you don't like to, uh, if you don't like what you're, you're, what you're doing, you can just reset it by, I think, clicking one of these. So this is save song, load, load song. Is there any extra any? Yeah, here we go. D uh, demo song. Let's actually play that. It's probably a little bit better than what I just made. All right, so here we go. Here's another song, a little bit better. And this is actually one of the demos. And look at how complex this is. So here you can see uh, the notes used in the synthesizer, um, the samples and so on. And this is what the actual modulation looks like. And essentially, someone made this and someone uploaded this, and you can use this to learn how to use this particular uh, synthesizer. And the music you can make here is incredible. This is actually a very, very advanced machine. I think it's probably one of the coolest uh, musical games I've ever played. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably one of the best games on the market right now. And even though it doesn't really uh, teach you music itself, it does teach you how to how to use the synthesizer and how to make music by using, uh, you know, samples. 
And so this is a pretty awesome piece of software. I mean, it's ridiculously cheap. It allows you to create incredible projects. And most importantly, it's actually also a game. And the puzzle in this game is relatively difficult and it will take you a few hours to finish and you'll actually feel really satisfied when it's finally done. And I don't want to spoil it, but at the end, there's some pretty impressive uh, musical um, finale that will just blow your mind. And I don't want to spoil it any more than that, but if you play through this, you will be quite impressed. Anyway, so let's play this again. I kind of like this tune. Uh, and so some of the samples here, you, you can actually, uh, oh, here we go demo song core let's play that so some of these samples are actually really good and you can kind of see how to make really really good music and then there's this really awesome button right here and this is of course is a record button that allows you to create and record your own music that you can then share with your friends or even go professional you can maybe become some kind of a professional fract osc player so here we go we're going to record my new music that i kind of modified from the demo version and this is what it sounds like so essentially this is fract osc in a nutshell and so what it allows you to do is you know it's a puzzle game that once you finish will unlock all of these features that will allow you to create a pretty awesome uh, variety of music so i think my tune actually finished and uh you know once you get tired of this you can go ahead and skip exploring the world finding new secrets because this game has quite a lot of secrets and solving puzzles and then you can come back here and make some more music so you know what for a game that's relatively cheap on the market and for a game that allows you to do all this i think this is probably a must get it's a must have not only for you know teachers of music or someone who likes to make music but for anyone this game is uh, it's underappreciated and it needs a lot more reviews and a lot more uh, attention so let's play this tune one, one last time and on that note no pun intended let's finish this video so once again this is a game called fract osc funny name awesome game brilliant design and look at that even uh, you can even see the notes moving in there that's how awesomely designed it, it, this game is Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you give this game a try. This is a game that will teach you to be a better musician. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and check out some of the other educational games I've reviewed. And also take a look at the games like Universe Sandbox 2 and Kerbal Space Program that I use for a lot of really awesome projects and uh, explanations. If you love watching educational videos or videos that teach you awesome stuff, subscribe and like this video. Game you later, guys, and bye-bye.